Many people think of leprosy as an ancient disease, with several major faiths mentioning it in their early writings. However, a disease as old as time can still make a modern comeback. Over 200,000 people worldwide are diagnosed with the disease each year, and recent leprosy cases have lacked traditional transmission factors. Scientifically known as Hansen's disease, leprosy is a chronic infectious disease caused by Mycobacterium leprae. The most apparent symptoms include skin lesions, thickened skin, and loss of sensation in the affected region. Skin lesions, such as papules, macules, or plaques, appear reddish or lighter in skin color, while thickened skin or lumps may develop around the nose, forehead, and ears. Loss of sensation may begin with tingling that leads to numbness. And lastly, some people may experience abnormal sweating, heat intolerance, and enlarged nerves which can be felt in some regions like the arms. But before you worry, 95% of people will not develop leprosy after exposure to the bacterium. The good news is we have antibiotics which can treat it. Though it remains unclear exactly how a person gets leprosy, researchers believe contact with an infected armadillo and air droplets from an infected person may lead to infection. While it might sound scary, protecting yourself against leprosy is very simple. First, infectious disease experts recommend you avoid close contact with nine banded armadillos. No handling or eating the animal. It also helps to keep the nine banded armadillos away from the home. Second, wear durable gloves and clothing when working with soil. Though not confirmed, some experts suggest nine-banded armadillos may contaminate soil when they burrow underneath. Finally, limit prolonged periods of contact with people who are untreated and may have multibacillary leprosy. They may have high numbers of the bacteria in their respiratory droplets and nasal secretions. Most importantly, if you think you may have leprosy, seek help from your primary care doctor and an infectious disease specialist because early recognition is important.